What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to apply a copper colored decal on a pre-existing redshift shader in Maya. Over here I have this air purification unit. This is the BioOx reactor unit and I would like to apply a large decal colored with a, a copper shader onto this face right over here. The UV is already uh, set for, uh, for me to apply the decal. All right, so let's skip uh, the whole modeling part. And here we go. So I'm gonna pull in the hyper shade over here. And what I'm gonna do first is on the red shift, okay, I'm going, well, actually, let's just press tab over here and I'm gonna type in blend, okay? And you will see the red shift material blender, okay? That's the red shift material blender. Okay, so, First off, I would like to apply a pre-existing base uh, shader, which is here, this over here, the white plastic is, and that's what I already have over here, the white plastic, okay? But first off, let's just uh, give this a different, uh, a better um, title here. Let me just call it um, branded plast, branded white plastic. All right, let's just, whoops, okay, misspelled that. Brand, yeah, great. I went to college. All right, branded white plastic. Okay, um, let me drag over into the base material here. I'm going to drag in the white plastic and that's gonna be my base model, okay? And let me just go ahead and uh, apply that um, to the uh, this uh, unit. This is gonna be the, oh, whoops, assign existing material, branded white plastic, okay. Great. Okay, so right now, if I turn on the Redshift IPR, it's going to show you nothing. Okay, there it goes. All right. Okay, so it show you, it's showing you nothing. It's just that white plastic. Okay, so now we're going to work on applying that decal. All right. So let me bring back the hypershade over here. Okay. And what we have to do is layer on top of it, uh, off of layer one, that decal. All right, so first off, we want that material color to be copper, right? So let's create the redshift shader, okay? And I'm gonna create our, okay, let's call this just copper. And just for the sake of expediting things, let me just replace this entire thing with just, you know, the, the stock copper shader, all right? Now I'm gonna highlight the, the, uh, the blend material again, and I'm gonna drag the copper shader into the material color on layer one. Okay, great. And what that's gonna do is now it's gonna composite on top of this, the, cop, um, the, the, the copper shader, okay? But nothing's happening right now, okay? And that's fine. So now we have to define where that copper is going to be applied, okay? Because right now, the reason why you're not seeing copper right now is because the blend color is set to black, okay? So black meaning it's complete, it's uh, completely removed, and white means that it's going to be applied um, completely on. So it's basically an, an, an off thing with uh, um, gray gradients in between, right? Where you can mix uh, or, or blend the, the color between the base and the different layers, okay? So, okay. Very easy. What you got to do now is you just keep, I just keep this blend color to its uh, uh, default black. I'm going to add an alpha in order to apply that blend to the, uh, the unit. Okay. So I'm just going to click in a file over here. Let me just pull this back out. <clears throat> okay. So what's happening over here is, okay. So I'm just going to go into, I had added a file here. Okay, and under image name, I'm going to select my alpha channel. Okay, and I had created one here already. All right, now white means that it's going to be applied completely in black. It's going to not be applied. Okay, so you can have different shades of gray or whatever. Okay, but for our intents and purposes of this tutorial, really, it's just white and black just to show you exactly what happens. I'm going to open that. Okay, and now if you take a look over here, you see what's happening. It's the copper. Uh, foil. All right. Now, how do we know? Let me just uh, move some lights here so you can kind of see what happens with the uh, reflection of the, the copper material uh, when the light moves around. Let's just close this out here. All right. I'm just going to keep this over here. Okay. Let me just uh, go ahead and uh, find one of the lights here. 
key light. Okay, if I move in real close over here, you should see the update happening. As you can see over here, let's give it a minute. Okay, you can kind of see where the, uh, the light is already um, affecting the copper shader differently than it is the plastic. Okay, so that does indicate to me that it has worked. Okay, Hope hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Thanks.